I remember I was really anemic and I remember I went to the hospital. It's very, very expensive. Do you know like about how much it would be? And I think like the average I think is <gasps> a night. Yeah. You're joking. <laughs> from the UK. Hi, I'm Lauren from the UK. Hi, I'm Christina from the US. Hi, I'm Callie from the US. I've actually not had a cold in two years, maybe two and a half years. Ooh. And I think that's because we wear masks all the time that I have not caught a cold. Yeah, I think I think same. It's been it's been kind of while since I got a cold. Oh, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I had an allergic reaction um, when I was in Germany and I was rushed to the ER. I had like a giant swollen lip. It was so <gasps> embarrassing. And I also was hospitalized in the UK as well one time because my heart was beating so fast. Ooh. And when I got there, the uh, doctor asked me, you haven't been taking crack tonight, have you? <laughs> and I was like, how old are you? Um, when Okay. 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 Yeah. I was like, I was still thinking you're a child, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have a clear memory, but I remember I was really anemic, so I was really weak, and I remember I went to the hospital. I mean, my parents kind of dealt with all mm. of the cost and stuff. I'm not sure how much it was, but I know it's very, very expensive. Yeah. To stay overnight, I think that's, they make the most money, I think. Do you know like about how much it would be? Well, it, it depends, it depends per state. I'm from Massachusetts, and I think like the average, I think is 1,500. <gasps> A night? Yeah. You're joking. <laughs> I think this is, is currently, I think it, it's like an average. 1,500, I'd just stay at home and die, I think. <laughs> I think a lot of people yeah. do. Like, yeah. Honestly, I think a lot of people choose not to go to the hospital. Mm. They like let their health get really bad mm. because they don't want to, not don't want to, don't know how to pay for the bills. Oh mm. um, in the States, I don't have insurance now, no. So mm. when I was in the States, I was still like, um, so for a long time I was on my parents' insurance because mm. they can cover you up till like 20 something I think, yeah even so I was on my mom's insurance like through her work but mm. now when I go home I don't have any insurance oh which is scary I actually when I was home this recent time I had to get uh, tested for COVID and it's supposed to be free I thought but many urgent cares that I went to that was the first question they asked like if you're insured or not one place I went to did help me fill out a form so that it was free but many places quoted me like a hundred dollars for an antigen test so oh it was gosh. even to get tested without mm. insurance it was like mm. a lot of money the uk i mean i have had no issues like with being treated in the uk i've luckily never had like a big injury like i've been to a and e but it's just for like sprained fingers because i played basketball for a long time and like my fingers were in a mess so i would have to go and get x-rayed all the time but it was pretty quick and it was free. I get treated very well. Like, I don't know, everything, I've never had an issue, but I know people with like serious medical conditions may not be treated as well as they would be privately if they were to, you know, like pay for private medical insurance. Cause we actually have that option too. And like private medical practices where you can go and pay between like 80 and like 200 something pounds for an appointment, like a GP appointment. Yeah. And then obviously on top of that, there's more costs. Like if you were to have a surgery, I know it could cost like up to like 10 grand or something, depending, oh. depending. Wow. Well. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. It's, I think the US is just known to be very expensive. It's kind of crazy. Sometimes when I see the prices, I'm just like, it makes no like, sense. Like, it's who can outrageous. afford to be sick? No <laughs> one can afford to be sick. <laughs> it's free basically yeah. for us. You know, we paid in our taxes, so we don't even really notice it yeah. coming out of any of our money. It's very quick, it's very efficient. Most people in the NHS are lovely. One of the few things as British people we can be very, very, very Super proud of. Super proud of, mm -hmm. actually, proud yeah. Of, the US, I'm gonna see this a lot today. It really depends on what state you live in because there are different costs and also there are different types of insurance and it is also based on your income. So uh, I think I think like the average per night is about 1500. That's just like to be hospitalized, like yeah. as an inpatient. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, if it's like 1500. Like, yeah, I heard it was like. Oh no, I see so many zeros. Yeah. <gasps> is it like a million Wait, dollars? <laughs> Two million? That's um, awful. What do you do? No way. What do you. 
What? Yeah. <laughs> so she was in the hospital for four months. Yeah, but if it's if it's almost fifteen hundred a day, you, you can that I mean yeah that adds yeah. up. Mm -hmm. You That's can see great. all the categories that she had different yeah, costs it's... coming from. May add some unnecessary mm. stuff. Just yeah. Yeah, I think. Everything costs something. Like mm -hmm. x-ray, there's a cost for x-ray, yeah. there's a cost for tests, there's, you know, everything adds up. Mm -hmm. Cost to touch your child after you give birth. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. it's true. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so scary, especially I think with COVID, because if you need to be hospitalized, then you have no choice. Like, mm -hmm. COVID is so dangerous and so severe that like, this woman probably, like, obviously she didn't have a choice whether or not she's going to be hospitalized. So to think that she had no choice in this, and then she's hit by this, it's just yeah. really gross. Or yeah. imagine being like in the street and you like pass out and then someone calls you an ambulance. No, don't pick me up. That happens. <laughs> yeah. People say don't they refuse call it. an ambulance yeah. because yeah. it costs too much. It costs like a few thousand dollars. Yeah, for, just for the ride. Just for the ride. So like people don't 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 call an ambulance. Like yeah. please put me in the wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh the the 15 to 25 if it's you have insurance mm. and then if it's there's no insurance it's 100 to 600 dollars i heard 300 to 600. when i went to my doctor i was insured and it was pretty cheap just for like a basic it was 15 to 25 dollars but if you don't have insurance depending on if it's basic care or something more advanced it's 100 to 600 dollars for a visit. 600? Yeah, oh yeah 600 maybe if you take some tests or, yeah, so. You would never go to the doctor, would you? Yeah, I wouldn't go. I mean, you no. just die. I feel like, too, it's like even hard to find a doctor that can accept you sometimes because <gasps> some doctor's offices won't even like accept patients mm -hmm. that are uninsured. Mm -hmm. And then even if you have insurance, sometimes like I've called different doctor's offices before because I moved a lot in the States and didn't really have like a doctor that I went to each time and I was told like oh we're not accepting new patients now oh my gosh it's really difficult in the UK if you go through the NHS GP appointments are completely free however it may be difficult to get an appointment with your GP I know when I was at university we had to kind of like book a week in advance almost or call up at eight o'clock in the morning <laughs> to see if there were any appointments so sometimes it's kind of hard to actually get in to see the GP but if it's for like a long-term possible illness then you know you will go and then they will refer you to a specialist like I've had friends who've gone to like a private doctor and whatever and it costs like between like 80 and like 200 300 pounds um, but it also depends on how long you your appointment is mm -hmm. so like 15 minutes could be like 80 90 pounds what about hospital life like the same state overnight hospital for one day <sighs> It's, Free. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy expensive. Thousands like, of dollars. Thousands. Yeah. Like when, no, I mean like like 10, with insurance or without. Ten thousand dollars. <gasps> ten thousand? Yeah. Like I'm just baffled. Like who has that kind of money? That's like a car. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you have that kind of money, right? Right. It's like like I would rather buy my car so I can drive myself to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So why is there such a wide range for prices? There are a lot of factors. Like yeah based on states or mm -hmm. income. What do you mean income? Like if, if you're, if you don't make a lot of money, then maybe you can get more, more like more benefits. And like if you have a good job, like the insurance from your... Yeah, your your job mm -hmm. can maybe cover more. Mm -hmm. There's um, a lot that like factors into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> free? Yeah, yeah. Of, course. of course it's free. They're just gonna be like, actually everything's free apart from if you want to have a baby. They're not gonna do that. <laughs> Again, it's like tens of thousands of dollars. Mm. I think like mm. throughout, like if you're counting like doctor's visits throughout pregnancy too, mm. like can be like fifty to seventy thousand mm. dollars. And it depends though if you're like having it like vaginally or like a C-section or something, oh, yeah. right? It's more expensive. I know C-sections are definitely more expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, C-section is like seven thousand to. 14,000 depending yeah on the hospital and everything the thing I can't like grasp is like what if you want to give birth like naturally mm -hmm. but then something happens and then you're forced to have a c-section mm -hmm. but then you still have to pay for it I think that's so many it things, blows right? my mind it's like yeah. things that are out of your control mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you can't control when you get sick or when you get hurt mm -hmm. but then just having like this burden of this like huge cost on top of like whatever you're dealing with it's just really unfortunate find a British man to marry <laughs> <laughs> if I were to get pregnant 
it, I wouldn't go home. Mm -hmm. I would have it abroad and then mm -hmm. go home. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a lot of people so, do honestly, like medical tourism. Like a lot yeah. of people birth? in the States. Not I've to give birth. Oh, okay. oh do the they do? It's quite popular for people to come and have birth in the UK. Oh, because really? really? yeah, yeah, we've got a really good system for. Wow. Wow. There's a basic human right, I feel like giving yeah. birth. Right? Yeah. yeah. Right? It's kind of funny because the plane ticket will be cheaper. So, mm -hmm. way yeah. cheaper. Yeah. Medical tourism, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think people you can do, it. do it for giving birth. There's some laws, but you know, everything <laughs> else, you know, if you want a cheeky liver surgery or something like that. Cheeky, liver. <laughs> cheeky liver. My uncle is a liver surgeon, that's why I oh, said it. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 There's not nothing. When I hurt my hands, all that happened was that I just had to wait like one or two hours maximum. They x-rayed it, they did it, and I just left. Everything <laughs> costs money yeah. in the US. The x-ray costs money. I think mm -hmm. x-ray is like $200. And then the cast. I've, been, I've actually I never broken. To. But the, if you have to get surgery, if you broke your arm, it's like six, it can be $16,000. Because they're like the anesthesia, the anesthesiologist, the <laughs> surgeons, the equipment, the bed, the yeah. How does it work then in the UK if like all of this is free? How is it <laughs> covered? Our magical system. Yes. Well, actually it comes out of our taxes. So our income tax and it depends obviously there are different levels of tax depending on how much you earn. But I'm pretty sure that our taxes mostly go, the biggest portion goes on welfare and then the second biggest portion of our taxes go on to healthcare. So I think it's like 20% and we all just pay into it if you're earning over I think 180 pounds a week and you're over 16 then you're you know you're naturally paying income tax so it's just mm -hmm. you don't really notice it going it supports everyone it's mm -hmm. just we love the NHS. Just, yeah. <laughs> I like that like mm -hmm. everyone you know everyone pays a bit more yeah. and then you have yeah. this like I mean not everybody is happy about doing that mm -hmm. but I think that would be yeah. a big problem in the states kind of I think that's people why, don't want yeah people mm. really don't like it and I think that I saw some videos on YouTube where they were interviewing like what do you think oh this is really expensive and they're like yeah well mm. and then they they still defend it but I think also to change the whole system would be very it would expensive be and chaotic. Take, it would be a lot hard. of time mm -hmm. yeah so I think that's why it's just continuing yeah. to be but mm -hmm. oh it's like how can you live yeah. <laughs> how can you live Depressing. Depressing. <laughs> I know. I'm very There's like sad. rain clouds on this side of it. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's it's yeah. it's sad seeing the the cost, like the prices right there. Mm -hmm. just, really. just imagine like all that money that goes into it. What mm. they could do. That's a thing. Like that's what yeah. blows my mind. Like I think it's just really sad and unfair. Like I don't know that not. Not many people can afford to take care of themselves like that. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. you said, it should be a basic human right yeah. and still mm -hmm. people are struggling just to like get their needs met. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So today we talked about healthcare in the US and the UK. And if you like the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye. <laughs>